All right, so what did you say? Is there an easy way to correct mistakes I am making? If not, what should I focus improving on? I am playing very bad at the beginning of the game. Is it because it was yeah. my first game? I didn't have the feel for it yet, or is it something I can improve on? I mean, so first thing right there is, first game is always going to be rougher. Uh, you should always warm up first, but we'll see what's going on here exactly. It's a lot of question marks. All right, so let's check this out right here, right off the bat. Uh, you could have bubbled once you saw that they were coming out here, saw the Zen Orbs. You dodged the Zen Orbs, so you could have got some serious charge off those, but instead you bubbled as you were backing up and didn't really get any charge. And again, exact same thing there. You bubbled your Rhine and didn't really get anything for it at all. Playing Zarya and Masters, your bubbles are going to be very critical. They have no shield. And it doesn't look like you guys are running like a goat, where you'll pretty much always have high energy. It doesn't surprise me that you're low, Masters, you said, because that's a very, like, diamond thing to do. How did you exactly die here? Yeah, unfortunate. Let's see here. Much both feel. <laughs> All right. So at this point, I mean, you should be you should be backing up pretty hard. You know that you're going to die here if you go in. And so really, you're just feeding their alts. Yeah, I mean, like, if that made it while you off, if they just pushed you and said you'd be dead right now, you should have backed up there. And that's kind of a general positioning thing. Again, kind of a general positioning thing. Make sure you know where your Ryan is at all times. If your Ryan was a little bit further, one more headshot, you would have been dead here. Okay, yep, so again, general bubble use. Look right here, where you use your bubble. May's freeze hadn't even started yet. You didn't even get any charge, really, because you weren't really being shot at. Oh, you did get some charge. I apologize, but if still, if you would have waited a second to use that bubble, you probably would have been safe from your transcendence. So look right here. Alright, yeah, so you almost got full charge, but your bubble didn't break at all. So you didn't even take 300 damage and you had 400 health. So you would have been just fine to hold your bubble for another second or two. And the trans is right there. You would have been in the transcendence. So I would just encourage you to be careful. I know sometimes when you're in danger, it's very tempting to throw the bubble right away. But if you could have held it for a second longer, you would have lived. Now that's minor, because your team had realistically lost that fight anyway. But it's important to be focusing on your bubbles and to be improving on these things. Like, right there, you shouldn't be pushed out at all. Uh, a higher elo team would punish you. You'd be dead. And some of that's going to come down to your comms. You need to be calling stuff like soft reset so that you and your team can back up. Oh, fucking nano blade. So where did you use your bubbles to fight? Okay, so you took one shot and they didn't even mean to shoot you. So that's not really a good use of your bubble. And then you used your other one on Ryan. 
right after he's shattered. That's not a bad use, because that should give him a couple more swings. But be more careful where you use your self oh, level there. I'm gonna swap to Genji for uh, Dragon. Okay. So you were very committed to that Ana kill. Which would have been cool if the payload was a little further. But if you look at the kill feed, your team is dying. And so there's no benefit to you just suiciding to try and kill the Ana. Your team isn't going to win this fight. Better, you should have backed off so you guys could get out another fight sooner. The payload has reached the checkpoint. Heal up. My will is unbroken. Peace be upon you. Like right now, you should be backing off. Your whole team just died here. You should be going straight back to make sure that you don't stagger as well. Some of your team staggering is part of the reason why they're this far and they still have over four minutes. Like that's a very risky position, especially you know they have a May. What's going to stop her from just throwing a wall behind you and that's it? Alright, push forward, push forward. Get the sun. Engage the discard. So, not great tracking there. Maybe oh, just because it's me, your first me, me. Oh, shoot. game of the yeah, night. But you could have gotten that Zen kill with a little better tracking. Push forward, get the sun. Engage the discard. And it's kind of the same thing, just knowing your surroundings. You know that maze here, right? Oh, and you're still me, pushing me, forward. Me. Oh, shoot. And that's like the wall I just I mentioned. Know. If you get wall off, that's it. I don't you don't really have any survive at Zarya, and you're not gonna, you're not like a Winston where you're just gonna be able to jump over the wall. It's generally going to be over for you if you get walled off on Zarya. You've been holding your grab for a while too. I know there hasn't been a perfect time to use it. Zarya, just tell me. I just do it. Oh, Never mind. Okay. Tell me. I just do it. Okay. So you got eight charge off of bubbling your Rhine. That's not solid. You should have waited to bubble your Rhine here. I'm ready, Zarya. Just tell me. I just do it. So you bubbled him right away. He wasn't even by anyone, and then he gets charged, discorded, and side and killed. If you would have just waited to bubble him for another second, he would have had a much better time. He wouldn't have taken any of that charge damage, most likely. The Discord couldn't have gone on him because of your bubble. And the anti could have been cleansed by your bubble. But really, this bubble is bad here. This bubble probably lost you the fight. Nice. I'm here. And you should be trying to back up. Mm, I guess because you had the grab, it was fine. Nice, nice. If you didn't have the grab, there's that Maywall that would have killed you. There's only some left, you can go hunt him down. Especially now when you know that they don't have a diva or anything, you can be throwing your grabs very aggressively. It's never a bad thing usually to grab a wall or something like that, but you can throw it right in the middle of them if you want to make sure you get all six. You have no worry about them eating it or anything like that. Small chance to deflect it, but that's a good cooldown to watch. Let's see your bubbles here. Where did you shoot? Use your... Yeah, so your personal bubble literally got you zero charge. And the thing about it was, you were in zero danger. So just watch this personal bubble, and it was literally just a wasted cooldown. Nothing. There was no one that could hurt you there, there was no one near you. Your bubble there, I get what you were trying to do. Trying to bubble your Zen to save him. But the Genji went right past him. You could have waited to see who the Genji was going to go for a little clearer, but that's very minor. I see why you would have thought that he would have hit the Genji, or the Zen. Oh, 
see that's good. So you had your personal bubble there, so you jumped up to tank a little bit of damage. But watch this right here. Right after that, you bubble your Ryan right away. You have no clue what's going on. You just see that he's nanoed, and so you bubble him. Good luck. If you would have just held that bubble for another second, could have saved him from the charge again. I'm not dead. Test you as long as you can. You can't test me? Oh. No. I'm dead. I'm lucky. Yeah, so far, the number one thing I'm seeing is your bubbles. Positioning close That's after, cool. but definitely bubbles first so far. I... We are strong. And it's fine. I will be. I need healing. Just a scratch. I first wall, don't go. Just a scratch. Just a scratch. I need healing. Just a scratch. I first wall, don't go. See, that was a much better bubble. You held it till your Ryan was in danger, and then you used it to save him. Uh, when did you use your personal bubble, though? I see, to cleanse the anti. Nothing wrong with the bubbles there. I know you were going for cover to the fastest route, but you kind of killed yourself there right? because you rotated to where the May was right there. And maybe Zarya is going to be a tough fight to win unless you're very high charged, sure and even then. Let's give a fly, go in, and then oh, sorry, I the wall head off, and then she'll fly over it. Then we push. I like that you're talking about baiting out the wall. The wall has been an issue for your team, so that's good. Don't go, please. I'm forcing wall. Yeah. Get bait the wall. Oh. Hmm. Alright, so watch this fight here from right here. So, didn't bubble your D.Va, slow reaction time there. It's unfortunate. And then you bubbled your Ryan as soon as he was going in. And again, this is a very, like, diamond mentality. Like, it's, oh, I see enemies, so I'm going to throw alts. Or throw cooldowns. So your Ryan's in, and bubble. It just, you didn't even wait for the real threat. You used your bubble first, so now they can aggress. Overall, just wasn't a good use of your bubbles. When you could have saved your D.Va or saved your Ryan, instead you just kind of used it to get charge off your Ryan. And when you're down for your D.Va mech, you probably should have been calling for a softer set anyway. Even this right here. Yes, you bubble someone in the grab, that's what you should do most likely. But you should be communicating with your Lucio. If he's low health or something, you need to be bubbling him when he tries to drop that sound barrier. Bubbling your Ryan was about the least valuable person you could have bubbled there. They don't even have anything to where Ryan's shield was really blocking. So why did you throw your personal bubble here? You're already high enough charge. And imagine how this fight could have gone if you could have cleansed the anti on you instead. You're taking very little damage and you throw both of your bubbles here. Almost no charge off your brig. And very little charge off your personal bubble. Again, if you were just a tiny bit more patient with them, it would have been game changing. It's not bad to bubble your Ryan when they're going in. Um, especially if they're worried about getting slept or something. You guys had already won this fight, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Ryan, you searching?
Ah, we can come from train. That's good, but say it, say it, say it more. Say that we can combo right now. There you go. There you go. Uh, say, I think oh. we should save grab. Yeah, and we can just grab to get shattered again. There you go. Oh my god, that's huge. Nice. That's way, that's way dude. Huge. I got sex to kill. Nice. That's huge. That was good. That was great. It was a nice combo. It was talking by your team. You guys have needed okay, more I'll communication. Just grab this fight, so so it was nice. Just swing into it and bubble you. Yep. And ideally, you should know this, your grab here may just very well get the transcendence out. And so there might actually be better use of your grab here if you could grab the nano blade or something. You could have. Uh, things ended fine for you. Is that a hot? Help me, please. Yeah, we had wall. You're good. Dude. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm not. Couldn't bubble you in time. See, now right there, why'd you bubble your Rai when you could have bubbled your Brig? Lower health, deeper in. I definitely would have recommended bubbling your Brig there. And there's your personal bubble. It got no value because you used it when you weren't in danger. So you throw it right here. There's nothing. There's nothing. What worst case, you get hit by a couple shriekens. They're not gonna hurt you. Oh yikes! That's not mono blade. That's true. We have mono blade. Just a scratch. Oh. Cool. Mono blade this fight. You're covered. Yeah. Fine use of your bubble there. Just keeping your charge up while you know you guys aren't going to be in a fight. Self drop down. I like that you were looking to bubble your Genji's blade. Ah. Um, naked blades Sorry. generally need it all the time, pretty much. Sorry. Did you just walk right past the sleeping target? Hmm, they got, they got charged. But you gotta communicate that with your team. What if your team had expected you to kill that Genji right here? He's sleeping. You literally step on him. <laughs> right, you're, you're a hundred oh charged. Sorry. You could've just melted that Genji. And instead, you just walked past him. And your Ryan didn't say like he was charging him or anything. So right here, I would communicate, hey, last time I grabbed, we got shattered. So can we watch that this time? You gotta assume that your teammates don't know what's going to happen. There you go, got shattered. Oh, his shield broke, but I don't know if it's winnable. Rain cup, rain cup. And you walked right past the Rhine there. I mean, you took a lot of damage for no reason. There was almost no reason you needed to be that low. When you could have just helped your team melt the Rhine. That's kind of a general awareness thing that we've talked about a couple times now. So where did your bubble go? Why do you not have bubble for the Genji here? So you bubbled your Rhine after he was knocked back. And you got four charge off of it. And he, you didn't really block any damage for your Rhine. Overall... Not a good choice. If that Brig would have had her stun up or something, that could have been the end of your Nano Blade, which got three kills. Holy shit! I need heals. Nice. Oh, they had the Fey again, fuck. I mean, that kills. Back, oh, oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, we can push. Use sleeping too. Nice, nice. Alright, nice. So you used your personal first, 
and then you used your other bubble once you saw your yeah, Rhine in a little bit. Sorry, sorry. The Rhine one. bubble wasn't a hundred percent necessary, but much I'm better frozen? use of your bubbles. Like right there, that was just a wasted bubble. Bubbled your ride for literally no reason. You can't even see anything. So basically what you're worried about is that there's someone in this doorway going to hurt your Rhine. Your Rhine is full health. Even if there is someone in this doorway, he's going to be just fine. And imagine if your bubble just ran out and then he got charged and you lost this point because of him. Now, luckily, their Rhine had just died, so you didn't have to worry about that. But there was no reason to bubble your Rhine right there. And if you had needed that bubble, you would have been in a bad shape. Nice. Uh, someone needs to stay payload at all time. Yeah, on again. Escort the payload. Securing the payload. Give me your best shot. Give me my shot. Give me your best shot. Give me your best shot. Come Fine. Right Bubble your Ryan while Genji, he's knocked King, King, down. Genji bind, Genji bind. That was good. You really focused him. That's fuck. That was good. Nicely. Recharging shield. But if I see Widow, I will stay with you. Yeah. We don't don't care. Care. Watch out, Ana! Ana's throwing! Ana's throwing! It's <laughs> a good call. She was definitely throwing. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Oh, watch out for Para. Ended okay, but unfortunately you got shattered there. Para be scorched. You're over committing to this Fara. And if your team was even just a little bit further, I would have been really worried. Especially you know that they're all spawning right here right now. Just off screen. And so, that's worrying. You could have lost all your charge there for very little benefit. Yeah, I'm grabbing this. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry, I was trying to grab. Sorry, I was trying to grab. Probably have a rush. Yeah. I'm gonna combo barrage. Again, good choice to bubble your Genji, but just early. That you you didn't bubble him when he was in any danger. Stand the payload. Yes. Can you go right? Get the Sora. Nice. Nice. Sora? Nice. Mario? Mario? Nice. Team <laughs> Kill. I appreciate the cheeky grab. A little early, but I appreciate it. I feel like you guys won that so easily because it's a 5v6 though. So I'm excited to see this defense now that it's 6v6. Because if they had their full team, you probably would have gotten punished more. Yeah, that's far. Oh my god, that's huge. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, what? What's <laughs> happening? Help me! Bring it back. Wait, wait, take down the wall! Take down the wall! Take down the wall! Oh my god. Oh, yeah, so unfortunately you may well do off, but you also communicated it too late. If you would have said take down the wall earlier, uh, you may have made it. I'm dead. And it's what kind, the of, fuck uh, are they kind of a reaction time I'm thing. Best, you know, but it's unfortunate. Even, so oh if you guys would have been spawn checking, you would have seen that they had a hog, and you probably wouldn't have played that far, I would Stall hope. And I, mean, I think we can kill them with fire. actually playing Bastion. Just the farm ults. I'll go Hanzo. Yeah, far enough. And we go with fucking 6 ults and win this. I'm gonna need 2 ults to team up here. 
Guard to six points, so it's fine. Just get oh, it to yeah. overtime. Use all ults, then we're done with them. Yeah. Have double shield. Sure. Just spam the shield. You're covered. You're not getting ready for battle. Our shield's breaking. Shield's breaking. So you guys should have rotated by now, and you got to communicate that to your team. There's no reason for you guys to be holding this yeah, left yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. They're pushing the payload for free right now. You guys literally aren't doing anything. Everyone on high ground. We're coming, we're coming. Yeah, wait for us, wait for us. No. Oh, yeah, you guys just threw, basically. You gave them so much space for free, and then you're not going to be able to do this probably with the sleep or the anti on the bastion. So this fight is yeah. over. You need to die on payload. Short short grab. I mean, short shatter. I'm dying. I have, uh, I have my shatter. Okay, we have. Yeah, yeah fucking freeze it, freeze it. Just go die and go. Stand to, uh, on the payload. Stand on the payload. Just die. Just die. No, I'm farming grab. Okay. All right. So their Ryan is throwing any higher elo Ryan. You would have been so punished, and you so gave them the Wait entire second point for free, and all you had to say to your team. Was yo, we shouldn't the, stand over here. And yeah, you guys probably could have won this fight. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, I got it. Time is running out. Oh, shit, wait, I need to block. Bastion's focusing on my shield. Bastion's focusing on my they're using my shield's breaking, my shield broke, shield That's broke. good, communicate okay. to your team that you're going to be sitting behind this corner. And you guys could have just grabbed here, anti'd, and that oh, would have no. been a good game. Oh no, dead. Just don't lose, you, you gotta stall, you gotta stall. We have enough ult to win. Also, farm, farm, farm dragon, I have shatter, I mean... Huge shatter. That was a huge shatter, I don't know how you're right nice. to die. Hold on. But really oh. think about how much value you had on Zarya in that huge, last yes. fight. Because it's not very much. You really got to be more careful with the use of your bubbles overall. There was a lot of times your bubbles were used that didn't get any value whatsoever. Which is a very diamond thing to do. Um, so it doesn't really surprise me that you are low masters. Because in diamond, it's like you see enemies and you throw your cooldowns. And whoever throws their cooldowns better wins. But once you start getting into masters, that's when you really need to focus on your cooldowns. Saving your cooldowns to outplay specific plays uh, or specific abilities or specific alts will be massive for you. So I would really, really, really focus on your bubble use. And there's some, uh, there's some fun ways to do that. It doesn't have to just be um, throwing yourself in comp. One of the best things that you can do is to group up with a another main tank and really try and focus on using your bubbles to make sure that they are getting the most value possible and it will help you realize a lot of times where you shouldn't have bubbled or you should have bubbled and don't stress about your charge as much especially with like the prevalence of goats and stuff you should be at pretty high charge most of the time and saving your team Dodging cooldowns, allowing for your Ryan to charge or shatter is going to be a much better use of your bubbles. Outside of your bubbles, the next thing that I would work on is your positioning. There's a lot of times where I don't think you knew where your Ryan was or you didn't know exactly where your healers were. And so you were out of their line of sight or you were over committing to a target when you could not be saved at all. And so then you got punished and it was really pointless. Um, and on that same note of positioning, there's a lot of little things. You guys should not have been standing where you were. You threw the entire second point. You should have just died on payload once you realized you were going to die. Um, you were getting no value sitting in that room unless you were going to 1v6, which you're unfortunately not going to do. But overall, it was a pleasure to watch, and I hope you find this commentary helpful.